the long-awaited vision of multiple starships launching from Starbase Texas is facing increasing challenges. The FAA, backed by environmental agencies and regulations, continues to slow Starship's progress. But what if Starship operations shifted to Florida, the true hub of the aerospace industry? With NASA's support, SpaceX could potentially launch more Starships. Is this a realistic possibility? Let's explore this in today's episode of Great SpaceX. FAA regulations are becoming an increasingly controversial topic within the industry, with Starship Flight 5 experiencing a significant delay as a result. It's clear that this will impact many future missions, especially when SpaceX seeks to change its objectives. According to the FAA, any mission change requires a modified license and FAA approval. Additionally, in a recent statement, the FAA repeatedly mentioned that SpaceX had violated both federal and Texas laws. Agencies such as the Fish and Wildlife Service, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, the Environmental Protection Agency, Cards Against Humanity, Save RGV, and others have consistently accused SpaceX of various infractions leading to fines and delays for the Starship project. As a result, Texas, once seen as the promised land for Starship, has gradually become a barrier to SpaceX's development. So, is there a solution? One interesting idea I've discussed is relocating operations offshore, but this has its disadvantages and would be difficult to implement quickly. Could SpaceX move elsewhere? Many point to Florida, considered the holy land of the aerospace industry. Under NASA's management, the Florida coast hosts multiple launch systems operated by various companies. SpaceX already operates two systems for Falcon 9 at LC-39A and SLC-40. At 39A, SpaceX even considered building a launch tower, orbital launch mount, and other subsystems. While the OLM was eventually dismantled, it seems like this could signal a new design in the works. Plans for Starship in Florida have already been proposed. In the FAA's environmental impact statement, SpaceX planned to launch 44 times per year from Florida. This proposal includes several options for launch and landing. The first option is to launch and land both the Super Heavy and Starship at LC-39A. With this approach, in addition to the existing system at the launch complex, SpaceX will construct a dedicated catch tower. Unlike the system at Starbase, where the launch tower is responsible for both launching and landing, this new setup will divide tasks between multiple towers, allowing SpaceX to streamline and optimize the design of each tower for its specific mission. In addition to launching and landing at LC-39A, SpaceX plans to land stages on a drone ship, a method they've successfully applied to Falcon rockets for years. This approach provides SpaceX with more flexibility, allowing them to choose between land and sea landings based on the situation. Compared to landings on solid ground, drone ship landings offer advantages in flexibility, safety, and flight optimization. This method remains a viable option, especially given SpaceX's extensive experience with the Falcon rockets. Applying this system to Starship should require minimal adaptation time. SpaceX has also mentioned the option of landing directly in the ocean at a specific location. However, this is likely intended as an emergency measure and would rarely be used as it doesn't align with SpaceX's long-term goals. Not only will there be upgrades to the launch and landing systems, but the Starship's operating in Florida will also undergo changes. For example, the larger 150-meter Starship will be introduced. This increased size allows the Starship to carry more fuel and payload, with the report detailing a capacity of up to 4,100 metric tons of propellant in Super Heavy and 2,600 metric tons in Starship. To accommodate this mass, Starship will be equipped with a new engine version, delivering 103 meganewtons or 10,500 tons of thrust on Super Heavy and 28 meganewtons or 2,855 tons on Starship. This is likely the engine version with over 330 tons of thrust, which Musk referenced in his earlier presentation, as well as during his interview with Tim Dodd at Starbase on the Everyday Astronaut channel. However, we must consider the urgency of the situation. While the proposed plan for moving operations to Florida seems geared toward the future, the approval process could be lengthy. What we're discussing now is whether SpaceX could move to Florida immediately. Is 
this feasible? Long story short, I believe it absolutely is. Short story long, SpaceX has demonstrated impressive speed in constructing Starship launch, production, and test systems as we've seen with Launch Tower B and the Star Factory. What they need now is NASA's support. Launching in Florida offers SpaceX the advantage of avoiding many of the environmental agency challenges they faced at Starbase in Texas. Under NASA's management, Starship's launch operations could proceed more smoothly. NASA, more than anyone, wants Starship to progress rapidly to support the Artemis program, which could give SpaceX an additional edge if they relocate operations here. Plus, Florida's geographical advantage for launches is undeniable. That said, there are some challenges with this option. NASA previously raised concerns when SpaceX built the Starship launch tower, worrying that Starship operations could interfere with Falcon launches, NASA's primary vehicle for space missions. Both the current Falcon 9 and the future Starship are expected to have frequent launches, which could lead to congestion. While SpaceX has made significant investments in Falcon operations at SLC-40 to share the workload with LC-39A, it's unclear whether this will alleviate NASA's concerns. Additionally, while Florida may lack environmental agency challenges, SpaceX could face opposition from competitors. For example, when SpaceX first proposed their Florida plan, Blue Origin submitted a three-page comment urging the FAA to reconsider. ULA followed with a 22-page document outlining potential risks of Starship operations at the Florida Launch Complex. The underlying reason for these objections likely stems from concerns that SpaceX will dominate attention upon arrival, potentially overshadowing their competitors' rockets. It seems the competition has already begun even before Starship's relocation. What do you think about SpaceX moving its operations to Florida? Let me know in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey. In my view, relocating some operations to Florida is a compelling option for SpaceX, but it doesn't mean they will completely abandon Texas. The relationship between SpaceX and the state of Texas has grown stronger over the years with significant support from both state and local governments. Governor Greg Abbott has been an outspoken advocate for SpaceX, pushing for faster approvals from the FAA. Recently, a Texas congressman went so far as to send a formal letter to the FAA administrator urging them to approve SpaceX's request for 25 annual Starship launches from Starbase. SpaceX has played a crucial role in transforming Texas's southern region, once one of the most underdeveloped and poorest areas in the country. The company's presence has brought a about economic growth, job creation, and infrastructure development, fundamentally reshaping the local landscape. This economic revitalization has raised concerns among Brownsville County officials, especially after Musk hinted at a potential move to Florida. One official remarked, we just knew that we had to work that much harder and that much faster to, up to improve our case that Starship belongs here in South Texas. This underscores the local government's desire to retain SpaceX and the immense value the company brings to the region. Given the current trajectory, a complete departure from Texas seems improbable. Just a few months ago, Musk made it clear that SpaceX and X headquarters would move to Texas due to its business-friendly policies, contrasting sharply with California. Additionally, Musk himself has established his primary residence in Texas, reinforcing his commitment to the state. Further solidifying SpaceX's presence, Gwen Shotwell recently reiterated that Starbase remains a one-of-a-kind facility to manufacture, test, and launch the most advanced rockets on the planet. She revealed that SpaceX has invested over $3 billion in Texas over the past few years, with a staggering $1 billion spent just last year. This level of investment clearly indicates long-term plans for development in Texas. Beyond financial commitments, SpaceX has made significant strides in expanding its capabilities at Starbase. The construction of new test systems at the Massey test site, the near completion of the Star Factory, and the recent construction of a new launch tower all point to a strong focus on Texas as a central hub for Starship development. The company has continuously pushed forward despite the hurdles imposed by regulatory bodies. While the FAA and environmental agencies present ongoing challenges, it's clear that Texas remains a critical location for SpaceX. 
Rather than avoiding these obstacles, SpaceX appears determined to confront them head on. By working through these issues, SpaceX could not only overcome the immediate regulatory roadblocks, but also establish a more streamlined path for future Starship operations. This approach could ultimately open up new opportunities for Starship's development in Texas, ensuring its role in the long-term vision of the company. SpaceX has several strategic options to consider at this point. Moving some operations to Florida could be a practical step to further accelerate Starship's development. Launching from Florida, the historic epicenter of the aerospace industry, is something many have long envisioned. However, Texas will remain a significant focal point for SpaceX, at least for the foreseeable future. Despite the challenges, Texas still offers great potential as a hub for Starship's launches and landings. It'd be indeed Exciting to see Starship lifting off from both Texas and Florida, but before that vision becomes a reality, SpaceX must carefully prepare and execute Flight 5, where they plan to catch Super Heavy using the Mechazilla R. This mission holds the key to many future developments, including the company's plans for both Texas and Florida. Let's wait and see if SpaceX can achieve these ambitious goals. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.